posted on my channel since it's been like a month yeah it's been like a month since i posted on my channel and i know that's bad and all but it's just a lot been going on and i just feel like i haven't been in a, like a creative space lately but i'm back in that mode so welcome back to my channel um if y'all don't know me i'm one half of the working twins so yeah this is going to be like a um q a type of video because i feel like i just started my channel off sorry if i'm talking where i have my rubber bands in my mouth I kind of just started my channel off and I didn't really give like an introduction of myself or you know like nothing like that so this is a Q&A to get to know me so I asked you guys on my Instagram which is right here I asked you guys to ask me some questions and stuff um I'm definitely gonna try to be more um post more on here because y'all want to see me so I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want further ado let's get into this video and yeah okay so the first question is I'm gonna put them up on the screen but I really try to keep it to just the questions about me but of course they're asking about my sister too so if I slip one of those in you know it's okay um this says what is your dream job slash house my dream house well right well my dream when I was little was to get my own house like y'all know if y'all seen the house to work this page you know our situation or whatever so the house that I'm living in now is kind of like my childhood dream house because I feel like we have me and my mom and my sister we have our own space now so I feel like this is kind of my dream house but I feel like in the future I have two options okay so when I turn 18 you know I'm gonna move out of course we're still gonna keep the house my mom's still gonna live here but it's this um condo type of thing downtown and we're actually looking at there before we found this house but we was like we're not gonna stay in no condo like we need a house I plan on moving there um when I turn 18 so hopefully everything the universe god lines up with my plans and hopefully that's my plan but y'all just gonna work out i promise it's gonna work out i'm speaking into existence right now this says are you still a nail tech as y'all know i posted a day in life of a 16 year old nail tech um yes i am still a nail tech i just did these i don't know if y'all can see them i do my own nails do my own toes sometimes i do yanni's nails and sometimes i take clients but not really not often as i would like because i'm home based and being who i am I don't want everybody coming to my house. I don't want everybody to know my address. So I'm definitely in the process of finding like a shop. I don't want nothing big. I don't feel like I I don't feel like I need anything big. So just something small so I can just put my stuff in there and work out of there. So yeah, that's why I'm currently trying to find. Where do you see yourself in five years? What's something you've been wanting to do? Oh, let me screenshot these questions five years I'll be 22 23 and definitely I I I want to be it's kind of I wouldn't say I don't know how to put this I want to be a superstar a lot not a lot of people know that they just know that I'm an influencer and you know this of course I want to be successful but I like performing like when y'all see us on um, like making music for the working twins page all of that I like doing that that's my main thing like content and all of that I love that too but I like performing I like being in the studio I like making music that's what I like to do so I see myself it's kind of hard seeing myself as like a like one of them rapper types but I feel like that's just me and me holding me back from that but I definitely see myself performing I definitely see myself taking um being a nail tech seriously i'm willing to dibble and dabble in everything so that's why i see myself in five years just being successful and whatever i choose to do even if it's not this even if it's not that i just want to be successful that's why every day i just work towards being that because i know i feel like that's what i was put on earth to do so yeah y'all not to get too deep but yeah how did you guys get scoliosis um i will do a scoliosis story time um i have a wig coming i'll probably do like a story time for that too but um, scoliosis, if y'all don't know, that's a curve in your spine. Um, there's an S curve, C curve, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have scolio I don't have scoliosis anymore. I probably do a little bit. But I had scoliosis when I was in like up till seventh grade. And that's just because when I was younger, I don't know, I used to sit I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking. When I was in school, I used to go to school, I used to sit like like this. Like with my hip out to one side always I don't know why I did that but I feel like that's a big part of why I had scoliosis but I feel like it's just the 
kind of just a genetic thing because my people have scoliosis too so um yeah i got scoliosis surgery in seventh grade so they kind of fixed that but um yeah i just got it from bad posture i guess <laughs> guys y'all are nosy what is your middle name okay so i feel like if y'all part of my channel y'all should know me the true me soleil is just my middle name that's my first middle name i go by soleil just because that's what i've always gone by but my real name i'll put it on the screen my real name is Juyanka soleil chamari wicker and i'm named after my mom my mom's name is also Juyanka, but yeah i just go by um my middle name i don't know if i would ever go by my first name of course that's my name but i didn't grow up being called that so i want to say i'm not connected to it but if someone was to call me Juyanka, it's kind of like like that's me but yeah i'm not really connected to the name you know but yeah this says why do y'all act innocent when y'all not Okay, y'all, so if y'all have grown up with us, y'all know we've had some trial and error in a lot of different situations. But I feel like it's not a acting innocent when you're not. It's just, why would I? I'm not going to say I'm just wild, but everybody has their, you know, everybody has their own personality. Everybody's not just so clean, clean cut. I feel like, why would I get on social media and, you know, why would I get on social media acting wild? I just don't understand like my YouTube videos that'd be clean cut raw me but as far as just I guess acting wild acting not innocent why would I get on social media and not you know I feel like I have an image to uphold so why would I you know I feel like a lot of people don't get that but it's okay um are you in a relationship no I am not in a relationship guys um yeah that's all I'm gonna say about that not too much but yeah how do you deal with hate uh how do I deal with hate? I would be, I'm sensitive, I'm a Pisces, so I would, I'm not going to say it doesn't bother me, but my theory is that if I can't see it, then I, I just don't know about it. So if I, let's say I see comments that's just bad or whatever, I just tend not to read the comments or just scroll past the bad comments like I'm really good at that I've been doing this for a while so to see the good comments and respond to the good comments without looking at the bad comments I feel like it's just something you got to train your mind to do but I feel like if I don't see the comment there's nothing to be mad about if I don't know there's nothing to be mad about so what makes me most peaceful honestly when I'm down and stuff and when I'm not feeling my best make I know this probably sounds bad but making content like getting on a camera and getting super cute and doing my hair all of that is what makes me happy like that's what I find peace in that y'all are more of an escape to me like Instagram is more of an escape to me I don't look at it as like a job and I feel like you should never look at if you have a hobby always try to keep it fun always try to keep it light don't stress yourself too hard about it because then it's going to turn into a job you're going to feel like it's a job you're going to feel like oh i don't feel like doing it i'm you know doing this like it's a job i don't feel like doing it so always just keep it light and bubbly you know how old are you i am 17 i just turned 17 march the 18th big 18 on the way guys i know y'all so proud of me because it's like y'all i'm growing up like, this is a good question this says was y'all famous in school during the dub smash days okay let me break it down to y'all when we started dub smash dancing when we started posting on dub smash we were just we had just gotten homeschooled we got homeschooled in seventh grade so we were at home so bored like we would finish our work around 12 and we would just be sitting at the house like bored all of our other friends went to school so we just sitting at the house bored and that's when the whole ACL dancing was just like coming about and stuff and we like why not make dance videos we started posting on dust smash and then posting our dust smash to instagram and we've actually had our separate pages longer than we've had the workers on this page but of course you know we twins people like to see twins so that one blew up faster but um yeah we weren't in school we went we couldn't have, we couldn't have even been in school when we were doing like dust smash when it first started because we were doing school tours like we would go to different schools talk about us upcoming talk about we did a stop the bullying school tour talk about bullying all of that and we would be in the schools at the time we would have been in school we've been homeschooled since seventh grade 
the whole college thing. If I was to go to college, it would be fam. You, I want to be in Florida, but it's not really a. It's never been a big thing for me because I just see myself being bigger than that. So I just feel like if I just keep doing what I'm doing now, evolving who I am now, then it's all gonna work out. Do you want kids? And if so, how many? Um, farther down the line because I'm only 17, but I do want to have kids. Um. I do want to have like a semi big family because I came from I wouldn't say a huge family but I have four other siblings so it's kind of like a big family or whatever so yeah I want to have kids I don't want to have too many kids but I want to have kids and I don't want to have twins that's what I'm scared of because I'm a twin but they said twins skip generations as long as it skip me I'm good because I don't want to have twins I just feel like that's too much too much baggage I see how my mom would be doing it I don't know how she'd be doing it but yeah, I don't want to have twins. This says, what's one thing in life you really want to do? Um, perform, guys. Like, I want to be on stage performing. I want to be Lotto. I keep saying that. It's, like a, it's not an inside joke, but yeah. Like, that's what I want to do. And if all else fails, I will always do real estate. I like, um, my mom used to do real estate, and I just feel like that's... Last question, guys. This is the juicy one, okay? Have you ever got into school drama? Well, when me and my sister were in school, I was, we was like the, our group ran the school. We was the, those girls. It was some boys in our group too. We was, we was the people in our school. But it was a lot of different, it was like a lot of hate in the group over the boys, of course. We was in sixth grade, so. But, um, yes, I did, I definitely had drama in school. I used to argue with, <laughs> y'all don't do this no more but I used to argue with um people on snapchat before instagram I was popping on snapchat um because my whole school had snapchat so it was like nobody's really on instagram and I feel like that's how I gained so fast like faster than others because when everybody was everybody from my school was on snapchat I was on snapchat and instagram so I feel like you know that gave me a boost but um yeah I used to sit and argue with females on snapchat um going crazy yeah it was just i would have to make a whole y'all know my sixth grade experience was crazy from the pink story time from the kale captain story time from, all of that was in sixth grade so i definitely have to a lot of stuff happened i will have to think of some more story time to tell you guys but i definitely want to talk about my sixth grade experience a lot more because I, i'm talking about a lot happened like that really, I wouldn't say that built me to who I am today, but did I have hate? Yes, I did have hate, but the hate kind of turned into, but I feel like this is how it always is. You don't like a person, da, 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 and when you see them blow up or you see them doing good, then it's like, oh, yeah, I know her. Da, that's how it was with me. All the girls that used to hate on me in sixth grade, no shade to y'all. Well, shade to y'all because... You know, I'm nice, so no shade to y'all, but shade to y'all because y'all really did me and my sister, like, not bad, but y'all know what y'all was doing in sixth grade. We were smaller than everybody else, skinnier than everybody else, and yeah, I don't know if it was jealousy. I don't know what it was, but all of those people that used to, I wouldn't say bully us because we wasn't really the bully type because we was getting into it with them also, but all the girls that didn't like us in sixth grade, they're like act like they just know us so much now and all my friends and trying to talk to us now i feel like people changed that was sixth grade but that's like the main thing don't treat people messed up because you don't know where life's gonna take them even if it's good or bad you don't know where life's gonna take them then one scenario you might be like oh like i know them they blew up they act in hollywood other scenario you probably like dang they gone and i was being mean to them so don't don't treat people messed up that's just one thing i can say y'all I'm in the video. I'm strong. Do not treat people messed up. Treat people how you want them to treat you. Because you do not know what li where life is going to take them. And you might regret it. I felt like I had some solid people in 6th grade. And life just took a turn. And hey. You know. I don't want to. Y'all you, you, can't get into all of that. I'll get into all that in another video. But yeah. Just don't treat people messed up. Because you do not know where life's going to take them. I'm not saying be fake nice to people because you think they're going to blow or you think some you just be genuine with people because not everybody going to be nice like me and my sister was like we still was talking to the people after they you know 
But yeah. Don't don't treat people messed up, y'all. Anyways, guys, so that was just a quick QA on some basic things. My birthday is March 18th. Um, my favorite color is red. I like to eat a lot. Um Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't know guys, but that was just to get to know me a little bit better. Hopefully that answered some of y'all questions. Y'all was being nosy in the questions, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Um, I definitely will be posting more. Follow all of my social media links, which will be down in the description box below. Remember to treat people kind because you don't know where life will take them. Bye, guys. Y'all, I sell my stuff on Depop. Um, like my shoes and clothes and wigs and stuff like that. This week um, will probably be on Depop. I always wash them, clean them before I ship them out. Shipping is fast. Okay, bye, guys.